dreamers! It's me, Tarifa the Dreamer. Hi, hello, how are you doing? Last week on my channel, I talked about what inspires me, how I get inspired, my whole process. And this week video, I'm sticking with the same theme. And I'm going to do women who inspire me. And how they inspire me, what I take from them, what they do. How I want to emulate some of the things that they do or the lifestyle that they have. When we wake up, we stay up. Got no time to waste up. On the ground, we stay up. Can't let nobody face us. We on the way to lead out. They coming for us. Wish we stop to us. Nothing's impossible. That's why they call us dreamers. That's why they call us dreamers. Two of them were mentioned in that video, but I'm still gonna bring them up and go more into detail. So, I'm gonna have them random, it's not in order of importance, it's just however they pop into my head. Rain's falling outside, so hopefully that's not too loud. My first one is Adrienne Houghton. You may know her as Adrienne Bylon. I met her in the Cheetah Girls growing up as a wee little girl, but also she was in 3LW, then the Cheetah Girls, Cheetah Girls movies. She went on to act, she had a reality show, and now she is one of the co-hosts of The Real, and she has a YouTube channel, All Things Adrian. Now, since I met that chick, back in them Cheetah Girl movies, I have, I have been obsessed. I've been obsessed with who she is. I've been obsessed with what she's done. Also, she has a jewelry line or a jewelry company, and a handbag line and a loungewear company or clothing company and she's amazing everything she does i love her work ethic i love how kind she is to people i love how honest and real she is and i like her style the way she dresses the way she talks the bougie elegant luxurious lifestyle that she lives and energy she embodies that's really inspirational to me and that's where I want to be. That's where I want to go. And yeah, and her, her story with love, I know some people feel a way about it. But her relationship, the way it is now, to me is also aspirational. They're one of my favorite couples. The second person is Leanne. I also talked about her. How I met Leanne. I met her as a realtor on YouTube and I followed her Instagram so now I watch all her YouTube videos, all her Instagram. She even responds to me which makes me feel all special. So what I know about her, I don't know a whole lot but I'm learning. She used to be a model and she used to work like in a school or something and then she became a realtor and she started a YouTube channel and her online branding and she's been doing that like coaching and all that and she's really good she's really bo also bougie what inspires me about liana is she's someone that looks like me she's someone that came from a similar ish background to me and we have a similar personality we have similar styles we have similar goals and i just feel like she's me in the future and i really look up to her and her career is really nice to follow and be like okay not to be just like her but to have somebody like if she can do it i can do it too so that's how i feel about that and she's really sweet and she's stylish she be hitting us with the goals on instagram the next person is lily singh and if you know me like really know me in real life you know that i'm obsessed with lily too I met Lily back in like 2014 and uh, I met her through YouTube and she helped me through a tough time. She helped me find positivity in life and being weird and confident in your weirdness and she just created a community I was proud to be a part of and it's so nice to see how far she's come from that. She has her own talk show, she's still doing YouTube, she has all these brands and all these things in um what you call it ambassador and all these things and she's someone that reminds me to stay true to yourself even if the world doesn't like you it's like a lot of people are mean to her and i mean about her and i will always stick up for her she stayed true to who she was 
who she is and I think she's funny and she's a boss and she been doing things that Ola couldn't do and Ola judging the girl but I love her and she also helps me with my productivity as well she's a really productive um, very focused person and I kind of like try to be like that as well the next person is Shan Booty or Shannon Boodram or now Shannon Brady. I love Shannon. Shannon, I met Shannon on YouTube, so she's a YouTuber, but they also have a brand. And her husband, Jared, he is, uh, I met him through her, but he does music and he has a podcast called Enjoy the Podcast. So I love his podcast. I love when Shan comes on there too. Shan is. Uh, a sexologist I believe and I learned a lot from Sean about being a female person in the world and how to navigate and all the experiences she's very honest very bold very carefree she has Caribbean backgrounds just like me and she's really fun and she inspires me to be my full list and my freest self and to own my desires and just do me just do me, all of me, boldly, freely, and be grown and be happy and be fulfilled. Shout out to Shannon. And anyone named Shannon is just like, I love all the Shannons. I know a bunch of Shannons and they're all dope, all amazing, and they're all pretty. The next person is Amy Landino. The last time I talked about Amy on my channel was about her podcast, Detail Therapy. She is a YouTuber as well, that's where I met her. Amy helps me to be productive and organized and clean and positive and also her relationship is also a relationship goes to me also Shannon and Jared's relationship the principles that back their relationship and the bond that they have in the communication they have is also aspirational to me but back to Amy Amy her husband name is Vincenzo and they're really sweet they don't have kids yet but it's fine when they do I'll be there waiting <laughs> She's inspirational to me. She owns her own business with her husband and she teaches me how to be a boss, how to control all my stuff, how to manage all my stuff. And eventually when I have a lot going on, I can continue to use her systems. A lot of the systems that I use to keep myself on top of things or to keep my morning routine in check and all those things came from Amy. So check out her channel, Amy Landino, Amy TV. Then we have Jeannie Mai. How I met Jeannie Mai was in How Do I Look? I think that was the name of the show. And she would like get people makeovers. It was on Style Network. That's where I met Jeannie. Like way, 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 way back. And then after that, I probably saw her like as a host of things. And then when she joined The Real, I was like, oh my God, because I love Tamara, I love Adrian, and I love Jeannie. I didn't know too much about Tamar or Lonnie, but I was there for the three of them and I fell in love with everybody. So, I was there for that show, and Jeannie's personality is so amazing, and she's inspirational to me because she's also free, she's also gone through a lot, and the way she deals with all of her trauma, all of her past experiences, is just not worth So, what I learned from Jeannie is to be myself, and she has a saying, own you before they do. Which means to own all of your stuff on your own so that nobody can tell you anything about anything because you already know who you are, you already dealt with all your stuff. And Jeannie is also really stylish, but she's helping me to stay motivated or try to be motivated with my fitness. And the con she has a podcast as well. The conversations that Jeannie promotes that I do end up having with myself or with people. It really promotes healthy and strong friendships and it really just makes you think about the kind of person that you are and what you want to be and I don't know most of the people that I look up to are older like in real life or people that are popular they're older like I feel like I'm very mature in the way that I think and the person I want to be I'm very much ahead of where I am at so I have to remind myself sometimes to remember that these people are 20 years ahead of me 30 years ahead of me and i need to relax but these are the goals that i have and i know who i want to be i know what i want and i'm very focused on achieving it and these ladies motivate me to do that and the last person is tamara moy housley 
Tia and Tamara, but Tamara is my sweetheart. I feel like if I was one of them, I would be Tamara. I connect with Tamara way more than I do Tia, but I love Tia as well. But Tamara reminds me or inspires me to keep my innocence and keep my sweetness and my childlikeness and my gentleness and my positivity and my I wouldn't say naive but optimistic way about me I'm very much like her in that sense so it's like being sweet and gentle to everyone being nice to everyone being modest I get that from Tamara she inspires me and I love her relationship as well and when I say I love these people's relationships yes I know that people don't show us everything but the basis on which they the foundation on which the examples that I gave their relationship is on trust and honesty and vulnerability and good communication and being sweet to each other the way that their husbands treat them and the way that the, the way that they treat their husbands is like that's what I want now I don't know everything and I can't say that they're perfect but it's pretty close to what I want and so they remind me like don't settle for anything less all of them but that is it um I try to keep the video short but that is what I be doing with my time I be stalking these people on Instagram on YouTube and and everywhere that I can find them and every time I look at these ladies in particular I feel warm and fuzzy inside I feel motivated I'm like I can have this this is possible the life you want is possible people are out here living the life that you want you can have it I envision myself I pick all the good parts that I like about all of their situations and I make this life for myself and my future my future relationship and all that and yeah I'm building the best Tarifa and I don't know, maybe you want to do that by finding people that inspire you. But that is all. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up below. I make videos on Tuesdays and Saturdays. So go ahead and click the post notification bell next to the subscribe button. And that will let you know when I post new videos. That's all. Okay, bye.